Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer from Lawson's Finest, and this is Chinookterd, so this is an IPA, and I believe I've had this one before, but back, back, back in the day when it was in uh, bomber bottles, white label, everything like that, and obviously not from the new facility in Waitsfield that they're brewing out of. Um, this is a 6.5 American IPA, uh, IPA uh, brewed with Chinook hops, so bursting with pine and citrus aromas. Uh, Chinook, by the way, is a dual-purpose hop used for not only flavoring, but also for bittering. It is decently high, uh, it's high alpha acid, but has notes of spice, pine, grapefruit, citrus, so sort of what Sean Lawson is talking about on label over here. So, uh, beer, yeah, this is from New England. This is from Vermont, but look at the color on that one. This one comes in a deep gold color. Deep gold color has a little, yeah, has, actually has a little shimmer of a, a light, medium minus haze to it. Like, you have to look through in the light and get a little bit of particulate kind of a thing going on, like a little bit in suspension, but it looks almost like a West Coast style IPA. Uh, beautiful eggshell white head on there. Let's get the aroma. Yeah. It smells a little bit sweet. It has a little bit of that uh, sweet breadiness coming in, but not all the way West Coast where it has that kind of caramel kind of candy thing. On the nose, like a little hoppy, like nothing too distinct. Yeah, it has just like a general kind of hop aromatic to it. It has a little bit of like green tea character to it, a little bit of uh, light citrus note, but it, you know, it almost smells a little bit like that um, H2 ops that are reviewed, uh, where it's just like generic kind of like hoppy aroma. Yeah, nothing too much to it. Cheers, a little bit spicy. Oh yeah, interesting. So this is very fresh, by the way. <laughs> this was can like literally less than two weeks ago. So uh, first off, this beer is bitter, wow. So Lawson's out of Vermont actually producing a bitter beer. So it's interesting. This is sort of like an East meets West kind of beer. You know, I think that there's multiple interpretations of that where you do really like a really hazy New England style, but pumping some bitterness into it and then, you know, don't make it as creamy as it can be. This is sort of like a neutered version of a West Coast IPA. It follows with a classic amount of bitterness up front. It's earthy, it's spicy, it's piney. There's actually not that much fruit character on this one. It is straight, um, piney for days, a little bit of like vegetal chive thing is earthy. It just has this kind of like lingering earthy kind of bitterness uh, driving throughout. The big thing about it though, is that with you with these uh, West Coast IPAs, you're going to get a little bit of this kind of caramel kind of bready sweetness. So even though this beer looks a little bit darker and might perceive as a beer that has that kind of rounded malt sweetness that you get in a classic American IPA, it's dry. It's bitter and dry versus the, that kind of balance where American IPA sort of searches for that multi sweetness with the bitterness. It's dry, has a little bit of biscuit tone on there. Wow. So this is definitely more towards uh, for the people that like West Coast IPA. Um, this is bitterness without the malt to back it up. So if anything, in the general perception of things, this this beer even pops even more aggressively with those kind of, um, against the Chinook kind of spicy, earthy, uh, piney bitterness throughout, and then lacking with the lacking in that kind of malt balance on this beer. It's bitter, it's nice. It honestly sort of like feels like a beer that you should be enjoying in the Vermont woods because it's just woodsy, piney, and it's bitter and sort of has that kind of base tone kind of situation to it. Personally, I think this beer would uh, do a lot better with a little bit more aromatic to it, maybe some complexity of some other hops that could offer some fruitiness because it is a little bit single note, just base bitterness on this beer without really complexity of hop flavor. But honestly, I do like the base recipe. It makes a beer that has a little bit of biscuit tone and malt complexity to it without that kind of general perception of IPA sweetness that I find, you know, off-putting sometimes that these IPAs can be a little bit sweet because there is that density of malt in here. Instead, um, this one just has a bitterness and then just a little bit of complexity of malt without going all the way. I like it. This is a nice change to it. This is like, you know, quite interesting. Uh, this for me is getting... I'm liking Chinook Dirt. It's a little basic, but I like it. 92. This is Lawson's Finest Chinook Dirt. Absolutely fanatic. It is fun beer. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Let me know how you're enjoying bitterness these days. Later.